Darcy, I've been looking for some small business tips. Hey, ambitious friends. I am so grateful to have you here with me today. Although we're running our businesses, we do not want our businesses running us. So we need to do a self check-in. How are you doing today? Also, please check out the directory in the description below. I want you to share with me what is your business and why you created it. And so I am going to try my hardest to spotlight a business in every single video that I do. And so today I have the fortune of spotlighting Appreciatus Coffee. Appreciatus Coffee is an online coffee retailer that produces its coffee roast to order. So when you decide to make a purchase, they will roast it that same day. And so Appreciatus is Latin for sunshine and they wanna bring sunshine and happiness to all of their customers. And so if you want your business spotlighted, make sure to fill out that directory. Anyways, going into the video for today, I'm gonna to share my top five tips for starting a small business. It's important that you share these tips with other business owners, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So getting into the nitty gritty, before I even share the five tips, I do wanna say it is key to know your why. Why are you building this business? Because if you don't know your why, you are unfortunately going to likely stop. Like running a business is no joke. It is hard. It is hard work. And I don't know if everybody's willing to tell you this, but it is hard, but it can be so rewarding. And so it's crucial to know your why. You can't run a business for anybody else. You gotta do it for yourself. And so if you're trying to find out what's your purpose, what's your why, what's going to wake you up at 5 a.m. in the morning and then make you sleep at 12 a.m. in the morning, what's gonna keep you going and be that motivated all day to work in your business. And that's just an example of sometimes the work that it takes to really grow and let your business flourish. So you need to know your why. And if you don't, I highly recommend you check out Simon Sinek. He's a great author that talks about finding your why and your purpose. And so if you're looking for really good small business books, definitely look in the description below. And so knowing your why, what's gonna get you up in the morning is crucial. And that kind of leads me into point number one, invest in you. And I know you've probably heard invest all of the time, but a lot of people talk about investing in your business. Your business and you is two different things. So investing in your business, let's say you have a product based business. So that can look like investing in inventory, investing in marketing, investing in research and development. But what about you? As a small business owner, you are going to be at the forefront. You are going to drive these initiatives. You have to invest in you. And you might be wondering, what does that look like? That looks like reading books, reading books constantly. So there, let's say there's an area where you're weak in. You can read a book to help you. You can listen to a podcast to help you. Whatever area you want to improve in in your life, you got to fill that gap. You got to fill that void so that you can be better in your business. And so typically I've heard that life is composed of three parts. You have your health, you have your wealth, and you have your relationships. To give you an example, let's say health. Let's say you're really sick. Can't, if you're sick, if your body is ill, can you dedicate the time it'll take to really grow your business and put in 10 hour days? 15 hour days. Can you do that if you're sick? No, you can't. And so it's crucial to grow your health, your wealth, and relationships, not just your wealth within your business, but all three aspects. Because if one is weak, all of them can be weak. And you as a whole being are going to be working in your business. When you are starting out, your business will be a reflection of you. So if you don't have what you need, your business can never have what it needs. The second tip I would say is play the long game. It is so hard in this world of instant gratification to play the long game, which basically means to know that although I might not see the results right now, that doesn't mean they're not gonna happen a year from now, two years from now. 
I need to believe that the actions, the steps I'm taking in my business today will have positive results in the future. Because if you don't believe that, you're not going to be motivated. You're not going to want to put in the time. You're not going to want to put in the work because a small business takes work. It takes a lot of work. And sometimes for the first year, for the second year, you might not be profitable. If you don't see your results right away, it can be very hard to keep going. And so that's why it's crucial that you play the long game. Write out your goals, write out your vision, make it plain what you want to do with your near business. And I think a great quote, which wraps up this idea of playing the long game is, we are kept from our goal, not by obstacles, but by a clear path to a lesser goal. And this is by Robert Brault. To kind of explain this quote, if you have a plethora of things to do in your business, which as you know, you do, if you're like, oh, I can take care of that easily, you're gonna do that right away. Versus that big overarching project that you have to do, it's going to be challenging and hard if you don't break it down into smaller pieces. And so a lot of times we can get distracted by the lesser goals or the goals that are easier to accomplish than the overarching goal. So it's really important on this journey to not get distracted by lesser goals, but to keep the bigger goals, the vision ahead of us. Tip number three, celebrate the small wins. So Vanessa Van Edwards, she is this well-known author and speaker that talks about how to communicate with people. And so I mention her because she talks about celebrating the small wins. In a business, it can be overwhelming by the tasks that need to get done. You can feel like I just have so much to do. Not even 24 hours in the day is enough to get done what needs to get done. And so if you think with that mentality, you can become overwhelmed. And I felt this, I have felt this many of times. And that's when I don't celebrate the small wins. Once I do something key in my business. And for me, that can look like celebrating that I opened up a business bank account. And if you're on that step, you can check out a video here. But yes, like that was a huge thing for me to open up a business bank account because using my personal bank account is no good. I needed to separate my money from my business of money. And that's a huge win. That's a huge step in doing what I need to do for my business. And I need to celebrate. You need to celebrate. So there are actions in your business that you are taking that sometimes might go unappreciated. And if you don't celebrate those small wins, those things that you do right, the things that you set goals for, and you follow through with them, then you can get bogged down by the overwhelming nature of all that needs to get done within your small business. So it's key to celebrate those small wins of victory. Four, get a team. And when I say get a team, I'm not talking about a business coach or employees. And those are definitely important if you get to that stage in your business. What I am talking about is getting a team of people that root for you. And I know that sometimes family and friends, they see the old you. They don't see the present you, the business owner you, the future millionaire you who has the successful business. They don't see that you. And so when I say get a team around you, I mean you need to be listening to millionaires. You need to be listening to billionaires. And you're like, Darcy, how do you have billionaire best friends? Well, the thing is, I listen to billionaires on a daily basis. I listen to Oprah Winfrey. I listen to Jeff Bezos. I listen to Elon Musk. I constantly am listening to billionaires and they speak into me. And while I don't have them next door or in my social circle in real life, I am fortunate that I have the internet. I can constantly hear them tell me what I need to do to drive my business forward, what I need to be to be successful. And so it's great that I have those resources available to me. And if you're like, I don't know where to go, I don't even know 
know where to look to be able to easily access billionaire speaking to me I would highly suggest you check out Evan Carmichael's YouTube channel he has a 254 day challenge where you can get daily videos of motivation he also has a billionaire challenge where you can get videos of billionaires speaking into you so it's great to constantly be surrounded by these successful people within their business and have them speak life into me so it's crucial that you get yourself a team of people that drive you forward and support you in growing your business five run your own race and it can be so hard to do this in the world where you constantly see people on Instagram or YouTube blowing up or getting really successful, it can be hard. It can be so hard and challenging to stay focused on your goals when you're like, oh, how can they be so successful? How can they be so great? What do they have that I don't have? And so sometimes you can get so caught up in your head and have these negative thoughts that you're not able to focus on what you want, what your vision is for your business. And so it's important that you know that you you are running your own race and that things happen in the time in which they need to happen and that everything you need is within you you just got to bring it out and so those other people they have their own complexities with their life they have things going on that you don't even know about but you know about you you know about where you want to go so you try to get to where you want to go by believing in yourself and by pushing yourself and by surrounding yourself with people who will help drive you to where you want to go. And so it's important to run your own ways and not look to your left or right and compare yourself to how other people are doing, but you could look at yourself from yesterday. Every day I strive to be a better version of myself and I might not do it. I might not do it in a given day, but that doesn't mean I'm not trying. And in pursuit of that effort, day by day, step by step, I'm getting better. And if I know that you compare yourself to your yesterday self, you will get better as well. I hope these tips helped you in your small business journey. And please let me know any tips that you have or anything that you would like me to share. Peace, stay building, bye.